Okay, here's some experimental data. I made a foam. Um, this is the length of a uh, instead of fiberglass or carbon fiber. I made a three foot four inches uh, triangular stress beam. So this is instead of the sticks that we've been using in the past. You can see here that this one quart of a brick makes a two inch deflection. Here's a uh, PVC pipe. It's got a little over a half inch deflection. Here's a... that's with one brick in it. Here's another steel, you know, EMT and it's got one brick in it and it's deflected a little over a quarter of an inch over here is this uh, bucket it's got six bricks it weighs it down the deflection is a little more than an eighth of an inch so uh, six times sixteen compared to the, the little sticks. Sixteen times six is a little, almost a hundred times stronger. Now it weighs quite a bit more, uh, possibly like it's uh, twenty times more weight. So it's a five times increase in strength. compared to the sticks that you've seen in the previous thing. Okay, but here's the kicker. I can make this thing even stronger. Okay, and the, and the it's not very well made. It's the first attempt. And what's go what will happen is that I will make it stronger the next time around. You can see the foam coming out of the end, one of the ends. I'm going to actually make a uh, geodesic out of this, so I have to produce a number more of these. Um, so now I'm going to be looking at increasing the strength, decreasing the cost, manufacturing time. This particular EMT is here just to measure the deflection. Um, okay. And if I take the bricks out, there's six of them. I, uh, I haven't tested to the breaking point. The breaking point is probably going to be, I don't know, maybe 30 bricks. We'll see. Each brick weighs nine pounds, approximately. So that's 54 pounds that are here, plus the bucket, you know, uh, another pound, 55 pounds. And you can see there's very little deflection. Okay, this is, thank you.